I understand that last week, in all seriousness, you said, if I had another 15 years to work, I could rebuild this entire country. I could change the nation. I did say that. And it's true. Having had now the experience going with the building of 769 buildings, it's quite easy for me to shake them out of my sleeve, and it's amazing what I could do for this country. And some magazine has offered me the whole magazine if I design a new capital for the country. It ought to be done. Of course, you don't really believe that you could succeed in imposing your ideas on what you call the mob. No. Do you, Mr. Wright? I don't think the mob knows anything of architecture, cares anything about it. I think it's going to be many, many years before the mob will ever get near architecture. I don't think architecture is for the mob. It certainly isn't for education. Education knows nothing of it. And very few architects in the world know anything about it. I've been accused of saying I was the greatest architect in the world, and if I had said so, I don't think it would be very arrogant because I don't believe there are many, if any. For 500 years, what we call architecture has been phony. Phony in what sense? In the sense that it was not innate, it wasn't organic, it didn't have the character of nature.